Yeah, tough, tough ask this Sunday and potentially not a full strength squad as yeah. well. Can you tell us the latest with, with Kath? Yeah, so Kath went down, oh, I think it was about 48 seconds to go, uh, rolled her ankle on a, on a contested layup and had a scan yesterday. Uh, she's been cleared of any serious damage, but um, obviously disrupted the joint a bit and um, yeah, it would be a game time decision, I suppose, as to whether she uh, takes the court. What was she like after the game? The injury itself looked pretty nasty. Yeah, so she was uh, initially pretty concerned. Um, and then uh, I think when she got into the change rooms, it, she felt like it wasn't as bad as uh, she initially, initially thought. Um, but then over the next coming days, it sort of swelled up a bit more and, and they were a bit concerned that she might have broken something. But uh, it's come, the, the scan's come back uh, all good and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens from here. What have you made of the last couple of weeks? Obviously getting a little bit closer towards yeah. a win, but not quite there yet. Yeah, look, we've... Um, well, we haven't had much luck, I think, you know, with Britt missing the first couple of weeks with the calf and then Clara going down with a knee injury and, and now Kathleen. Um, so not much has gone our way. Um, and I guess the other thing is that the league's gotten much tougher and some of the firepower that the teams have thrown at us so far um, has been you know, pretty heavy and, and we've had to deal with that. I think we're playing pretty good basketball and, uh, you know, most of our KPIs are, are where we want them to be uh, statistically and, and, you know, we're statistically I guess on paper we're competing with the top teams um, but it's just not falling our way at the moment and you know and teams are scoring a lot of points so you know we've been focusing on our defense and it's going to be a learning thing particularly with people coming in and out of the lineup and you know we're trained we've changed some of our structure as well so so that's a learning process for a lot of the girls but um, you know we're hoping that we can start to turn the corner I think you know um, the way we played on, on Saturday night last week against Sandringham was probably one of the better games we played while I've been coached and still managed to lose. So um, th that's disappointing and we know that we're going to have to get better if we want to win, but um, we're heading in the right direction, so that's positive. Is there a point of risking Kath so early in the season? Yeah, I don't know. We haven't weighed that up just yet. I mean, we're 1-4 we're and four now, um, which is definitely not panic stations. I mean, I, I've played in two championships with the men's team and we started 0-5 in both of those seasons. So... Things can change pretty quickly, um, but you know, you obviously, don't want to dig a hole too big for yourself. So we'll have to weigh that up um, when game time approaches on on Sunday. But um, you know, it's 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 definitely a marathon, not a sprint. So we'll, we'll see how we go. So she genuinely is a chance. She, she's not going to you know see out this week just you know just to get it right. Yeah, no, it's just still she hasn't been ruled out, and and I'm hoping that she'll be in the lineup absolutely. But um, she's she's due to see the the physio again tomorrow, um, and uh, and we'll make a decision from there. And and he's done a fantastic job. We've been keeping him very busy over the last couple of weeks. So it's Darren Poon from um, Taz Sports Physio. So he's done a really good job. So thank you, Darren, if you're watching. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a bit rough for the last couple of weeks. What has she told you? Is she raring to go? Oh yeah, she's absolutely keen to get out there. And you know, obviously, given the situation with her win loss record and Clara's already out, she wants to be out there. And she's a leader in the team, so she wants to be out there and try and get that W. But um, you know, we've got to weigh up what's best for the team in, in the long run. And how long till we see Clara back? <clears throat> yeah, so she had a, a scan herself earlier in the week and, uh, and that came back pretty good as well. So we were concerned that she might have torn uh, her ACL or her MCL, but that's all come back clear. She's got a bit of a strain in the ACL and just some bone bruising, so potentially only two to four weeks away now, which is much better than what we initially thought. So, so there's some good news in there mixed with the bad news and, and hopefully um, you know, once we can get our full team on the floor together I think we're going to be a force to reckon with. We've shown so far, uh, even in the games that we've lost, um, that, that when we put it together we're, we're pretty potent but it's, um, it's just getting everyone on the floor and, and playing well at the same time. And Brick coming back from that car, another game into it, do you think yeah. she'll be able to step up next few weeks? Yeah, look, each game she's improved and, and her, I guess, um, ability to, to play through the game has improved as well. So... Um, the calf, I guess, has started to settle down now and she's moving a bit more freely, so, so that's a positive. And, you know, she's a major piece of what, what we're planning to do for the season, so to have her approaching full fitness is, is good and it's going to put us in good stead, I suppose. So, yeah, really excited about what that could mean coming in the next few weeks. What sort of minutes management do you have to worry about now that you've had a couple of injuries? Yeah, well, that's, that's been a challenge. Um, you know, we've, the first few weeks we had to keep, you know, Britt and Clara down to about 20 minutes a game, so... That made it hard in that, you know, when the heat was on, there were times where we just had to take them out of the game, simple as that, because otherwise they just weren't going to get through it. And, and in some ways that cost us. Um, but, you know, that, uh, as, as 
Britt starts to get back to full health and hopefully now with, with Clara's injury um, a little bit, I guess, lighter than what we anticipated, hopefully she'll come back in, in better shape generally um, and, uh, and we'll be able to, I guess, move away from, from that type of concern. But that has been definitely a challenge. Um, certainly test, tested out our depth with uh, a couple of our younger players have been away with state duties and, and some other injuries as well. So we certainly have been up against it, but uh, hopefully light it into the tunnel uh, in the next couple of weeks.